<laughs> These Christmas lights are going really, really smoothly. I bought three of these strands. I ended up only needing two. And I got these clips from Home Depot. They're super simple to use. Um, you can see they clip on the gutter. They're universal though. They also have a way of just slipping underneath a roof tile if you don't have a gutter. Um, I think there's like three different ways you can use these. But essentially, um, this little guy back here, goes back like that and then your bulb you slide into this clip like that and you're all set and then you just pull it down to where it's nice and you know your string is somewhat taut is that the right word taut tight taut but um this is my first time hanging up christmas lights i mean my oldest is eight and a half and this is our first time having an opportunity to do lights. So it's kind of exciting. Kind of a rite of passage for a dad too, I'd say, right? Obviously moms do it too, but I grew up having my dad do it. So I was excited to hang them up for my family one day, but there they are. Pretty cool, pretty simple. These are the clips right here. This was like $4 from Home Depot. It comes with 75 clips. Uh, we're not even going to go through one box and i got two so maybe i'll give them to a neighbor or something but you can see the different ways you can clip these on with a roof tile they have a little mini light attachment we have the bigger bulbs here and uh yeah really really easy pretty cool we got the lights on amazon my wife found them because they kind of look like the old school lights what are you doing Arbor? this is a is it trickster bulb? What makes it tricky? Say, let there be light. Let there be light. Luke! <laughs> Is dad making our Christmas dreams come true? Yeah. I think so. Hey, thinking for the other one that we have extra, we could put it around our patio. Oh, yeah. I don't know. That'd be fun. Give us a ho, ho, ho. Ho, ho, ho. <laughs> I'm just going to grab a handful of these, put them in my pocket, and I'll kind of show you, I'll kind of show you how I do the rest of these for the final stretch here. I got this ladder at Home Depot today as well. It was like 50 bucks. It's normally like 110, I think. But yeah, so really the biggest thing when doing this is make sure you're stable on your ladder because we all know a lot of injuries happen with ladders. And then other than that, the biggest annoyance I've had is as, as I've been going, sometimes the one right before will pop out, but I haven't had like a ton pop out. So just adjust it and kind of move on. And you have to move your ladder basically every bulb <laughs> you could try to space it to get two bulbs which maybe i'll try to do that right now be a little more efficient but we went to the christmas tree farm so we got our tree in the house we have little lights coming for that tomorrow and uh yeah it's kind of exciting it's an exciting time of the year especially for the kids. And I think as parents, anytime our kids are excited and happy, it kind of makes us excited and happy too. <laughs> These are cool. These bulbs look like glass. They look like the old school glass bulbs, but they're plastic. So don't have to worry about those breaking. Being on the ladder is the biggest danger with doing something like this. It could kind of seem elementary and, you know, like no big deal, but a lot of if you look up statistics on ladder injuries and you know broken necks a lot of them don't happen that high up you know like f five to six feet high this is a six foot ladder so you know just got to be cautious make sure your legs are stable and as stable as possible i'm obviously doing this on bark which is uneven so this is less than ideal 
But yeah, this is gonna be a interruption to the normal videos. But again, it's been a holiday break and uh, we're digging a pool tomorrow actually. So we'll get right back into our normal video content here soon. We had a mountain lion sighting in the neighborhood a couple days ago at 1 a.m. So I've been kind of keeping my head on a swivel. <laughs> It wasn't a little one either. It was a pretty big boy, I think. Okay, so I have quite a bit more. I'll just take them down the side over here. But that's more or less it, guys. So I'm just gonna terminate it until I run out of line down there. But there they are. Those clips are really handy. I think this took me collectively maybe 20 minutes or so. It was pretty quick. Um, over on the side here, I got a $9 outdoor extension cord. It's indoor outdoor rated. Uh, I didn't really think having lights plugged in here and then strung up would look all that good, but honestly, it probably wouldn't have really mattered. <laughs> but uh, yeah, there you go. So we're at a really cool Christmas tree farm in Reedley, California. <clears throat> and what's really cool is they have this train that goes through the the property. You can hear it behind me. It's an actual steam train. It has a steam engine on it. What do you think, Ar? Is it coming? I hear it. I don't know. I don't see it coming though. Look at that cool tunnel you get to go through. I'm scared of the train, but every time it goes off. Are you scared of the sound? Is it scary? Yeah. You don't have to be afraid. Bit. Let's go pick out a tree. Sorry. I think that's perfect. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> what about this one? <laughs> There's too many to pick from, huh? <laughs> Are you in a little miniature house? Yeah, get in your butt in here. I want to sit on there. I love that bridge. See that bridge? Come in, come in. Papa, for Watch safety up. reasons, she could fall down that. What the heck is that? I don't know. There's a pit down here? Oh my goodness. It's a slide. Where does it go out of? I don't, I don't know. Oh, <laughs> you couldn't pay me enough to go in that thing. <laughs> How heavy is this thing? Too bad. Okay. Ah! Let me see. This is bigger than I thought. I told you. You did say that. I think they gave us the wrong tree. No way, that's it for sure. You think it's the wrong one? I think they gave us the bigger one. Do this. Start start at the bottom here. Okay. Let me get yeah. you started. Oh. Here, can you put these back for daddy? I'll let you take that off. I'll wait for you, okay? Just go put those back in the drawer. Thank you, honey. You hugged it? Give it a hug. Yeah, the ones you could chop down were a different species. That's a great tree. So this was a really fun night uh, here in Kingsburg, California. They had a tree lighting. They had a bit of a tree lighting malfunction, as you'll see here in a second. It's a traditionally Swedish town i guess a lot of the the people that established the town were uh, swedish and uh, so you'll see some swedish what, dancing here we'll the that love, the girls do in a minute throughout also. the year like we do at christmas time we would love so many people and so many people would love us all right so how many want to give some love at this time of year we're going to do is we're going to count down from 10 to 1 okay can you do that are you sure all right, the first time I asked you, can. Here we go, ready? Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, 
in there. I can't get out. <laughs> Thank you. Where are you? You did so good. Good job. Good job, Mama. I know you did. Pregnant. <laughs> 